It was the last train leaving childhood. The hand gesture of the conductor before departure. It was the time shown on the clock at the exit of the MRT station, before and after the night journey. When we were seventeen, looking back at two thousand and twelve, the days in the Earth Island train group, and the prelude to the rising tempest of two thousand thirteen. To fourteen, it was the mist in the mountains, the visitor center at the entrance of a hiking trail. It was the chilling wind with heavy moisture, the muskentus blowing down to the gale. It was the peak hidden in the fog, the omen of the tempest to come. It was when we still not yet saw the end of each trail. But had to choose between two at every crossroad. We chose one, nevertheless, because how easy it was to tell left from right and right from wrong. After all, every rock we came across in life, we would be able to measure. Every constellation in the heavens, we would be able to identify. We lived in the clouds, gazing upwards to see the galaxies. Overlooking our feet to study earthly matters, it was the march of our senpais on the streets, the angst in the atmosphere for an unsecured future. It was the economic system we all despise, the price tag on the scenery of a national park, and the media outlet on sale. It was 2012 when we were 17. The mist has never faded, and the mountain peak has never been reached. Nevertheless, we must still carry on with the compass in our hearts, because in this ever-confusing world, we must still know how to tell left from right, and right from wrong.